Today's tutorial is how to create a form letter and a mail merge in OpenOffice. My data, my addresses for the form letter, are going to come from an Excel spreadsheet. I've got one right here entitled Bowling, and it has basically names, addresses, zip codes, phone numbers, email, even a column right here for the bowling average. So that's the information that we're going to use in a spreadsheet. The way you do this in OpenOffice is you have to start by registering your information, your data source, in our case the Excel spreadsheet of bowling uh, names and addresses, as a new database. So I'm going to click Database, and I'm going to select the database, connect to an existing of a type spreadsheet. They want you to browse to the spreadsheet you're going to use. Mine was called Bowling, and I'm going to open it. You can password protect it if you want. I'm not going to do that. You can edit the database if you want, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to say, yes, register the database for me, and I'm going to call it Bowling DB for database. It's going to be saved in my Documents folder. Then what I'm going to do is open a document, which is my Bowling letter. This is the letter I, I used last year, the Kegler's Wednesday Night Mixed League. Here's the letter from last year, and what I want to do is merge this letter with this year's data source. So I'm going to go up to View Data Sources, and it lists the bowling database that I just created, and the data is in Sheet 1. Because this is an Excel spreadsheet, it's in Sheet 1. Had I named it something different, it would show up here, but I didn't. So I go to Sheet 1, and here is all the information, including that average column that I showed you before. So now it's just a matter of dragging and dropping the field that we want into where we want it in the letter. So here we go. We're going to drag the first name and drop it down, put in a space to separate it from the last name, drag and drop it down. You can see it says first and last. These are field names. I'm going to hit a return, drag down the address, hit a return, drag down the city, put in a comma and a space to separate it from the state abbreviation, put two spaces to separate it from the zip code, and there's our address. And then here we've got dear so-and-so, so I'm going to drag the first name right down here and put it in front of the comma. Dear so-and-so, looks like I had an extra space here by accident, so I'll put there. Then further down in the letter we're going to congratulate them on their bowling average. So I'm going to go up here and grab the bowling average field and drop it into the letter. Now that I've put everything in my letter, I can go up to View and toggle the data sources away. There's an F4 shortcut if you like the shortcuts. And here I have my letter. Now to see what this is going to look like, we're going to go to File and Print. Your document contains address, database fields. Do you want to print a form letter? Yes, I do. And here it comes. Wait for it. Up comes the mail merge window. And here it shows me what the fields are. I can print all the records. I can print just this record, hold down the control key, and maybe this record and maybe select another record, so just selected records, or from 1 to 5, but I'm going to go ahead and print all the records. I'm going to put it to a file so you can see what it looks like instead of putting it to a printer, and click OK. They do want me to save it, so I'm going to call this Bowling Output, and it's going to be saved in my Documents file. Okay, it shows that it's printing all these different letters. Now this letter is not the output letter, so I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to go to my documents, find the bowling output letter, open it up and see what we get. Okay, so here's the first page is to Jeff Johnson, congratulating him on his 210 average. The next page as we scroll down is to Nancy and Bob Dieseldorf. Now of course, 
I just used an existing database of addresses. If it really was the bowling league, Nancy and Bob wouldn't be shared. It would be Nancy Dieseldorf and her average. And on down to Le Laura Myers and her average of 121. And you can see you can just print out all these letters and you're good to go. If you have any more questions, you can go to the Help in OpenOffice, which is very good, and look up Mail Merge.